I just put an eight in a leader. Throw some Jolly Rancher in, make it sweeter. Versace my clothes, I wear a white hole, and she's snorting three lines like a D. The black. So what's up guys, today I'm going to uh, be preparing for my second round of my Oracle interview. Um, so I'm just going to be doing some technical questions, one of my friends is also doing it with me, so he'll be coming over and maybe I'll just show you guys a couple questions or something, we'll see. Okay, so before I start showing you uh, the places I get questions and practice for the actual technical interviews, I just want to show you the steps I did before uh, what I currently do now. So, okay, so um, I'm currently edit, editing the footage and I just wanted to say that I'm no pro at this um, process, it's just like my tips on what I think you should do. So, yeah, okay, back to the video. Firstly, I learned basic data structures. This was from uh, my ComSci second year course. We learned, uh, say, like hash tables, linked lists, uh, queues, stacks. Uh, all of that type of stuff. Once you know that stuff quite well, you can build them all. Um, you understand exactly how they work. I moved on to doing lead code questions. Start with the basic questions and then move forward. Try not to look at the help, but if you need help, I suggest going to geeksforgeeks.com and looking at the answers there because they actually explain them. Um, and then if you need to look for, say, more detailed more detail or variations and answers then go to the discussion tab on lead code and then thirdly before you um, like go for the interview just do some research on the company see what the company is actually looking for and um, what type of questions they'll ask so I'll, I'll explain a little bit later but um, just look on Glassdoor or Career Cup for questions that have been asked at that company and try to prepare some of those questions okay guys so uh, okay I'm just uploading my other video but I've um, been doing some lead code questions um, a pretty good uh, interview practice um, and I'm just gonna do like a like a demo question to show you guys what just like the average questions like so the question is find the kth smallest element in an array and uh, you can see here given an array 26147 and k is 3 so the small the third smallest element would be 4 right okay so uh, the first way you can do this which is quite simple and easy to understand you could sort the array with like quick sort or merge sort and do it in n log n and then you would just need to get the kth element or k minus one element and then that would be an O of n so big O of n log n right but then uh, it's another method that improves on that okay so using quick sort partition is a little bit trickier to explain but basically um, every time you partition your array the the partition uh, function returns um, the index of an element in its correct position and if that element is k then uh, we, re we just return that element if that element is bigger than k that means we only need a call partition on the left half of the array and if it's smaller we call it on the right so this method in total ends up being uh, o of n which is obviously better than o of n log n like the previous um, previous sorting method but obviously the sorting method is a lot easier to implement because um, you could just say arrays.sort but yeah there's like the average question and if you guys like this maybe in the future I'll do more okay guys um, I'd just like to show you like how I come up with or like how I study for the interview so firstly I use leadcode.com um, Basically, this just has like a whole lot of programming questions. Okay, so here are some of the programming questions. Two sum, add two numbers, reverse an integer, whatever. You can see I've done the ones with all the ticks. Um, and you can just come and do these. Then there's this, hand, this handbook on GitHub, which has like a really good explanations of like common questions. And then I go on 
Glassdoor and just look at the most common questions that people have been asked and then I try to do these like LRU cash, design a banking system, uh, for new grad positions you don't really have to worry about these system design questions but like more like alien dictionary basically all the questions that are easy to medium on on lead code is what you should be doing then when you actually get to the interview the main thing is to just try stay as calm as possible because as soon as you start getting stressed out you forget everything you've just been studying so just focus on staying calm, like the, the interviewers aren't scary, they try to be as nice as possible and if, if you literally have no idea, they'll like try guide you and help you to an answer. So I'ma get more, yeah I'ma get more.